Welcome back everyone and welcome back to World of Worship. I decide uh, to be honest with you to put a low tier or middle tier uh, gameplay with my um, best uh, free premium ship from Wargaming Kamikaze or I do own her. I do believe there's many p p uh, people of who still own her and well she got buffed in last patch what do you mean zero what kind of buff she received well you have better range than ever uh, to shoot your enemy but on the other side it's also a penalty because once you open fire you will be detected uh, uh, earlier than uh, when was it was but to be honest with you this is a very good um, captain's trainer I do believe that I uh, level up my captain like crazy in Shiratsu, Yu, Yugomo, and and so on. So it's it's a very good uh, uh, captain trainer and actually a, even a credit maker. If you have a premium camp and you play, let's say, ten games with this ship, it does not matter how good or bad you are, you will make tons, and I mean tons of credits. It's it's not usual that you do around between seriously guys I'm not lying what I'm gonna say right now between 200 and 500,000 each and every game it is so broken good credit maker and it's only tier 5 and for some uh, players they did not cost anything it's free it's good I do believe it has she has with speed boost very fast she's maneuverable she turns on the dime but the best thing about her it's actually torpedo uh, tier for tier, she has the best torpedoes in this game, no doubt about it. Okay, she has worker uh, guns. Uh, I do believe that Kamikaze can reload even faster than Minekaze, which is supposed to be same ship, but it's not same ship to be honest with you, because that's worth gaming for you. They do make uh, premium ship a whole lot better, even they are based on the sister ship. Let's say the best example, so I put uh, uh, Gnevni versus Grimiashe. Grimiashe, it's actually uh, Grimiashe, also it's a Gnevni class destroyer, right? They were supposed to be sister ships, right? But in our game, it's different story. Same thing goes with Kamikaze versus Minekaze. It's supposed to be same ships, but they don't have not even same rate of fire, <laughs> nothing. I mean, the turret traverse has better and so on. So. In my opinion, this is absolutely a gorgeous good ship. And here's the deal, this is my final conclusion. Normally when I'm playing a tier 5 ships and I face tier 6 and a tier 7 ships, it's suck. It's really really suck. And of course, you do a whole lot uh, less. Um, you, care, you play a little more careful in tier 7 uh, games with this ship but versus tier 6. Man, you're just happy you face tier 6 because they have more HP pool so you can torp them and do more damage. This is how I feel. I don't care about the nerf, about uh, all the uh, destroyers when I'm playing with this ship because, let's face it, I'm not gonna uh, use a lot of guns uh, many times. My torps, my mo uh, torps are the main gun. Okay, crap, folks, we are losing uh, ships. The enemy team lay lost zero ships and we lost three ships already, so it is bad. We didn't do, do a whole lot of damage, but uh, kind of a play uh, uh, careful. You have to, and this is my personal opinion, when you play low tier uh, destroyer, I'm talking about destroyers only, there's two ships you as a destroyer captain has to be aware of. And I can see, unfortunately, there's not many players that they, they, take, uh, they uh, pay attention. Isoslav and especially Clemson. What's so special with those two ships? Well, the captains of Clemson or Izoslav might not be a tier 4 or a tier 5 captain. What do you mean, Zera? Well, they might be a tier 10 Garin captain and Khabarov's captain. Wh why? It's simple. Tier for tier, those two destroyers are the best. I'm talking about tier 4 destroyer. I'm not talking about tier 5. At tier 5, I do believe Gremiashe and this Kamikaze are, are the best, unfortunately. Podvoski is also good, it's very uh, speedy and pretty fun destroy as well. But I'm talking about those two, Clemson and um, Izoslav. They are not meh destroyers. Last game when I play with my um, 
Clemson, I had 85,000 damage. It's average what Flamu was uh, able to do in his French Baguette tier 10 cruiser. He struggled to come with the uh, round 100,000 da uh, damage in a tier 10 cruiser. <laughs> what a joke. That damage I do almost uh, at tier 4 destroyer. Isn't that weird? <laughs> I know I'm sounds mean, but I do believe the war game they have to do something about the French line because there's something not uh, it, it's something it's broken. I'm talking about the HE performance and AP uh, uh, penetration value and stuff like that. I don't know. They have to fix it. There's something wrong with them. Um, if a good player as a Flamu struggle to do a 100,000 or not even 100,000 in uh, in tier 10 uh, cruiser, well, that must be something very, very terrible, terrible wrong. And we have finally our first torpedo hit and cause flooding. And maybe we will get one more. I do believe we will get one more to that. Oh, what a lucky Yaomi! <sighs> Yaomi, you lucky, 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 lucky. Now. How you play your kamikaze? You always know the angle, which the best angle to send your torps and keep a distance. You don't want to come too close, even though you might have a concealment expert and uh, your concealment it's 5.4. Uh, it's, it's a challenge what direction is this enemy uh, doing. Um, if he's moving, he's coming towards you, it's a whole lot easier. Uh, to do, to know the best angle and the thing is he kind of uh why he screwed this one this captain who he was because he was um uh, how should I, using those torpedo widespread you never use widespread never i don't know uh just sometimes just ridiculous sometimes you use your widespread and now he's too close to this musky this musky it's, it's uh uh because the uh, enemy team only last uh uh, lost two ships and Kamikaze did already three kills. Yeah. Okay. Now the whole fleet. <laughs> the whole fleet is it's it's uh, using his gun. Uh, there's five ships aiming at us. <laughs> oh man, that this is bad news. Seriously. <laughs> and uh, the enemy team, it's good because they have a spotter and that Muski and the rest of uh, the. Oh, what a lucky torpedo hit. <laughs> Oh man, now, here's the deal folks, in this okay, okay, one more torpedo hit, this to Wyoming, which is good, okay, now, there's four enemy battleships, they have no eyes, and this is exactly what this captain was looking for, because now he can play with them like a cat and mouse, now he has advantage, huge damn advantage he just has to pick up the targets one by one by one by by one and the best thing about this ship they are hard hitting torps and when they use the damage control uh because we, you okay we came a little bit too close to this wyoming wyoming is 5.3 our detection is 5.4 okay we, yeah we are not more spotted <laughs> We are not no more spotting. <laughs> we are not more spotting. Yes, sir. I do believe he will eat at least two torpedo this Congo, or or maybe one. Oh man, that was closed. He he stopped just before. Okay, this captain on the other hand, I do admire him. He's not a fool. Okay, the the, the Congo is actually a better target. I do believe Congo is still a, the better target. Why the spread again? I have no idea why he's putting the spread. Well, I, I don't play like like this to be honest with you. I, I can actually see he's an average Joe player. He is not a good tier 10 uh, captain. You can just forget it about this being a tier 10 captain. Ooh, you see, 17,600 damage. <laughs> we are not spotted, you know. <laughs> Even Congo, it's a good, uh, fast battleship, and uh, it's a pretty good tier uh, five battleship. But man, not widespread, man. I don't know why he using widespread. For me, it's a damn mystery. And Wyoming, okay. 
Hmm. Ah, Wyoming could dodge this thing, I actually. Now, we have four uh, uh, torpedo hits cause four flooding, which basically means if this is Congo, receive one more flooding. Yeah, he, he did receive one more flooding. He will flood to death. I do believe so. Yeah, he's still flooding. But now he's too far away, even though our torpedo are only 7 kilometers, because he's sailing towards us. Yes, that's a good, very good, very good aim over there. Uh, he's a gone if he receives one more. He, he, he might even close to die, even with the uh, non... He was flat, he will fly to death, yeah. Bye-bye, Congo. Well, <laughs> wow, what do you know? The Yeah, so what I'm trying to say is that uh, in this uh, gameplay, um, how should I say, you're gonna see how much credit this guy will do, but the thing is why I'm hype about this uh, ship, it's, it's, it's because it's fun to play. If a gl game it's not fun to play, then you don't want to play that game right some uh, people they say it's uh, overpower I don't quite agree with it because let's face it you have so health uh, little health and uh, you're you're all about your speed send torps and get the hell out of there you can actually easily be one one shot killed to from almost any enemy ships especially cruisers and stuff like that so your uh, HP pool, it's on a thin uh, paper. I mean, if you do a bad uh, decision, you're a goner. You go back to port. It's so simple. And you you cannot uh, heal up your uh, health pool and so on. So, But I still believe there's a lot of fun playing. And because there's a lot of tactics, he, he has to see right now in this position who's coming to, uh, towards you. What is the best target for this moment to talk? Well, it's definitely Wyoming. But they're both Wyoming. I mean, the more full HP Wyoming. I don't know if that was a good decision uh, to come that close. Because now, because he's spotted, he might uh, change his course. And the slightly um, break or... Okay, Furutaka, oh, this is bad. This is bad, folks. Are we open fire? We are open fire, okay. We're popping the smoke. And what do you know? One torpedo hit, two torpedo hit, three torpedo hits on this Wyoming. Was very good uh, torpedo dropped. Uh, two are aiming at us. We are detected. I don't know why we are detected. That's for me a mystery. And... Um, is he flooding? No, he's not flooding this Wyoming. When I use my torps, I do more or less one in the middle, one left and one right, which basically means that I create a bigger wall. Uh, so if some adjustment from speed and maneuverable from Wyoming to be less effective, uh, even uh, I don't need to hit all six torps to hurt him like crazy you know what I mean and those torpedo looks good because this Wyoming captain he's sailing straight away to the torps I only need one to put him down and as you see here folks this captain did two kills at the enemy kamikaze mini kamikaze okay that's also a premium one three kills but once again this is very important. Even though you face tier 6, you don't have to struggle because it's same play style. You just be, have a little bit careful. Okay, in tier 7, th that's a different story because versus tier 7, you uh, you meet a lot of powerful secondary and uh, really good cruiser there can actually delete you and hell, even some uh, tier 7 destroyer have more, much more uh, HP pool and the rate of fire and stuff like that. So it, of course it's a different playstyle, but in general you want to play in this game to have fun, right? And that's the reason I am showing you a low uh, or middle tier, yeah, it's a low tier gameplay, uh, because uh, 
to encourage you guys if you enjoyed um, uh, destroyer or Japanese destroyer you you are playing this ship to have fun the best the, the number one two to level up your um, captain and three to receive loads and loads of credits because this ship in my opinion is a, a bill printer yes sir just you don't have to play 100 games just just play seriously around five six games you see how much uh, crazy mon uh, money you earn you have so much uh, cr uh, money there you can easily play your tier 8 tier 10 ships and uh, you have like a backup you know what I mean oh man I don't know why he's using the widespread for me it's a mystery now you can actually open fire right now it's a uh, Kaiser it's more likely the uh, the New York or gonna aim boom torpedo hit boom torpedo hit right now second one and the third one she will eat even third one yes sir <laughs> The rudder is down, the engine is down, then New York had a bad, bad game. And what do you know, our fourth kill, or our third, apologize, our third. Okay, Furutaka is 9.2, Bogue is 7.7, .7. Kaiser kind of extended, and now he's facing one Cunning, and one Bogue, and one Furutaka. Okay, but he might actually delete that Bogue, actually, which would be good, but now I don't think he will survive. Mm. That bog will definitely, enemy bog will definitely not survive. Okay, Furutaka got killed by friendly Congo from the right side. And we are not spotted. Now we are spotted. Cunning, okay. Man, who sent those torps? Very good dash from our friendly Cunning. Uh, yeah, he's a goner, and now it's only cunning left, and he, he's aiming at us. <laughs> of all ships, he's not not uh, aiming at cunning. Oh, Kaiser, apologize. He's aiming at us. What do you know? He's going for ram this uh, Kaiser. Uh, it will low HP. I don't believe. No, she might die. All right. Now three point six. Okay, I do believe that we might die here, folks. Oh, that was a close call. <sighs> mm, can he avoid the second one? Yeah, he could, you see. But not the last one caused flooding, and that it's important because he has to... Okay, Confederate, it's served. Now you can use your gun, actually. There's a smoke between you and... Okay, still want to use the torps, but uh, in this particular case, it's it's bad to use the torps because once the torps are reaching the enemy, it's too late. I mean, uh, they r will run out sp steam. So you you cannot chase someone, expect that you will kill. That's what I'm trying to say. Are you okay, could you use your guns? Okay, thanks guys for watching. Have a good one. Bye.